So I am here at bill number one, which is the general requirements of one project. And this bill will consist of generally about the project. Then after that, we have the conditions of contract. And if you keep going down, you will find also sub clause that talks about restrictions and the contractor's administrative arrangements, constructional plan, and then you have employers and consultants facilities, contractors facilities, and temporary works, and sundry items. And also, generally here, the contractor can allow or add any items that are not part of this division. Hello and welcome to Costa Engineering Professional. I am Ahmed Adel and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, this channel is for you. And actually in this video, I am talking about the general requirements, which is bill number one in the BOQ when the BOQ is prepared in accordance with principles of measurement international. And I'll be showing you how the BOQ actually looks like. We will open an Excel file now and we will see. So let's start. So I am here at bill number one, which is general requirements. And it starts with generally, and I have some clauses here. And the first one says that if any item is missing in the general requirements, then it is understood to be included elsewhere in the other BOQ sections or divisions. So it doesn't give the contractor any right to claim for some item that he didn't price for here or something like that. No, these just are understanding of what are the items that come under the general requirements. And if there is anything is missing, it is understood to be included in your price or in your BOQ anyway. Then the second one here, it talks about that the rates and the prices of all the BOQ items that are coming here or elsewhere are fixed despite any changes of material cost or labor cost or any changes in the law or something like that, still the rates and the prices that we will put in the BOQ, either here in the general requirements or anywhere else are fixed and nothing will be changing in the duration of the project. The third one here, again, it says that all the prices that you will put here will not limit your scope as a contractor to these items that are coming here. No, you have to do everything. And this general requirement is just an understanding of the things that you will need for the project. But it doesn't mean that if one item is missing, it means that you will not do it or you will claim extra for it. The fourth one here, the contractor is deemed to have included for complying in all respects with the applicable terms and the conditions and the provisions and all of that. So again, it's just like confirming that, okay, we are giving you some items as a general requirements, but it is not limiting your scope in any way or shape to these items. No, you have to do everything to enable the works of your project. Any general requirements is required, you will have to do. So this is the first part, which is generally. Now, when we go to the second part here, which is the conditions of contract. So the contractor shall price here under any obligations contained in the conditions of contract, which are not allowed for elsewhere. This is very important. If something that will impact the cost of your project, but you have not allowed for that elsewhere, then you will allow for it here. If this is a condition of the contract that you will be signing with the client. And as you can see, we are listing down here all the close headings of the contract and any of these close headings if it has cost impact then it has to be priced here like for example bonds what are the bonds required for this project maybe issuing these bank guarantees or something will cost an amount so you have to keep this amount here you have to price for it again maybe the insurances maybe the definitions maybe any of the conditions of the contract can be having an impact on the project then you will have to price it here and these are all the close headings of the contract itself and actually if you have seen all the videos that i have done so far regarding the principles of measurement international i talked about each section in details and this now i am showing you how the section like we talk theoretically but practically on excel or on a boq how the boq looks like so when we talked about conditions of contract it was not that much clear but now we understand that there will be a sub clause here in the boq that says conditions of contract and all the conditions of contract will be listed down here and the contractor can price or put a price for any of them if they are not priced anywhere else in the project so this is regarding the conditions of contract after that 
we can go down to the second point, which is restrictions. So if you have any restrictions for the project, you have to price them here. For example, access for and the position or use of the site. If you have any problem with that, or if this thing requires any amount, then this amount will be priced here as under the restrictions as a part of the general requirements of the project limitations of working space if you don't have enough working space to for example store your materials or something because the plot is small and you need maybe to rent or hire the next plot to keep your store and rest areas and all these things so in that case you have to allow for that here limitation of working hours maybe you are limited to work only during certain hours of the day and this is adding a cost to the project so this cost shall come here maintenance of existing services under or over the site so this is also has a cost and all of this is as per the principles of measurement international if you go to that video you can find the link now in the top right corner and i'll keep it also in the description you will find that the principles of measurement international said exactly that under restrictions you can have these things but also if there is something else that is not there you can add it but now these are the things that can come under restrictions as I can see if there is something more it can be added here. So also execution of the works in a specific order like usually in contracting there is a specific order or a specific sequence of work if, the, if due to some reason they want you to execute the works in, in a different sequence like something different from the common sequence of work then this might have a cost impact and this should come here as an amount also. Then after that, you have the contractor's administrative arrangements. So for example, the site administration, supervision, coordination of the work, security, safety, health, and welfare of work people, transport of work people. So these things are contractor's administrative arrangement. So also they have costs and they should be priced here. So this should be a part of the BOQ in the general requirements. After that, you have the constructional plant. And what can come under the constructional plant? We have a small plant and tools, also scaffoldings, cranes and lifting plant and the transport and maybe something else that is not listed above. Maybe third party inspection, off-site storage, all these things are coming under constructional plant. So after that we have also employers and consultants facility. What the employer and the consultant want from you? Maybe they need some site photographs, so in that case you will price them here. Maybe employer and the consultant need some accommodation or something, so it will be priced here. After that you have the contractor's facilities, like the facilities that you need yourself as a contractor. So offices, laboratories, compounds and so on, off-site storage. I know that some items might be duplicated, but when you are pricing this bill, you will be careful like if some item you have priced it already you will not price or you can say included or priced elsewhere you can write that here no problem then also temporary fencing temporary roads water for the works compressed air and also lighting and the power for the works so the electricity and the water which are two major items here in the project because you will use water and the electricity for two years for example so this is a big item so these two items are here also telephones and telecommunications and fax and all these stuff emails it can also be priced here so this is regarding the contractors facilities going to, to the next one you have the temporary works and in the temporary works what are the temporary works that might be there in your project you have some access roads that you need to prepare or to create and maintain for example then maybe uh, design and removal maybe pumping maybe services and facilities so all these things are coming under the temporary works then we have after that sundry items so maybe testing of materials because you will need material tests in your project testing of the work maybe pull out test or something like that all the tests that you will need will be priced here the dewatering and this is very important because i have seen so many people are putting the dewatering item either in the site works or in the concrete works no the dewatering is a temporary work and any temporary work should be priced under the general requirements so the dewatering should be part of the general requirements bill of quantity then you will price it here then you have after that protecting the works from inclement weather and stuff like that drying the works precautions against fire maybe you need some fire extinguishers or something rubbish removal and cleaning the work after completion traffic regulation 
maintenance of public and the private roads, pest control, control of noise and pollution if it is required, then some statutory obligations, then project notice boards, then after that all the mockups and the prototypes and the samples that you will need in this project because they might ask you to do more than one mock-up for the works mock-up one mock-up apartment maybe if it is a building then maybe before you start the aluminium work they will want you to do one window as an example or as a mock-up so they can ask you and this will be actually in the project specifications they can ask you to do mock-up for more than one thing so these mock-ups maybe they need a cost and it will be priced here design of the works if that's applicable in your project after the project you need to provide as built drawings and the specifications and maybe manuals and all this stuff so also this has to be priced warranties that you will give for the works and the close out requirements because actually project close out is a huge procedure and it takes time and all of that so maybe that's that's also a cost everything is a cost and after that in the end here you have generally so the contractor can allow for anything else that is not listed above you can list them here and just price them and if you if you see like in, in each of the pages like this page for example you have the total here so the total will be the total of the amounts that are coming in this page and after you finish you will just go to the end here to the collection and just you will here this will be the first page second third and as you can see we have six pages including this page number six which is the uh, allowing for any items that are not listed above so anyway when you take the submission here the total of each of these pages when you take it here and you take the submission down in the end so this will be the total for bill number one which is the general requirements and this will go to the main summary of the project so this is how this bill looks like in excel or in a boq shape or form i just wanted to show it to you because i explained already these items in my other video related to the general requirement and you can find the link to that in the description down below actually i am explaining all the boq sections right now in one playlist that you can find on the channel which is principles of measurement international but i'll be adding another playlist which starts with this video and in this playlist i'll show you each bill how it looks like in excel or in a boq format not only explaining the theoretically how it should look like and all this stuff and what are the items that can come in each bill so i'll do that normally in the playlist of the principles of measurement international but we will have a parallel playlist which shows you each division of the boq how it looks like and i got some questions in the past about how to write descriptions and all this stuff so we can learn this also when we are watching the videos related to the principles or related to the excel or the boq how it looks like and this is the video where i have explained the general requirements theoretically and this is the playlist of the principles of measurement international and thank you so much for watching this video and if you have enjoyed don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and give me some comment down in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye bye